Under the vast, starless sky of New York City, the night seemed quieter than usual. People passed by quickly, tucked into their coats, avoiding the winter chill. The air was thick with the sounds of the city, cars honking, footsteps tapping, voices murmuring, but amidst the hustle and bustle, there was a small, almost imperceptible presence that no one seemed to notice. A kitten, no more than three months old, sat huddled on a cold, cracked sidewalk. His tiny body trembled, his thin fur offering little protection against the bitter wind. His wide, innocent eyes, a pale green, darted around in confusion as if searching for something, someone. But no one was looking for him. Earlier that day, the kitten had been nestled in the warmth of a cozy apartment, basking in the gentle sunlight that streamed through a window. His owner, a man with a rough voice but gentle hands, had fed him, petted him, and even scratched behind his ears the way he liked. The kitten had purred softly in contentment, trusting the man who had once found him in an alley, tiny and mewling for his mother. But something had changed. The man no longer spoke to him in the same soft tone, and the hands that once gently stroked his fur now seemed indifferent. That afternoon, he had placed the kitten in a cardboard box, driven him into the heart of the city, and left him by a trash bin. No words were spoken. No explanations were given. The kitten only felt the coldness in the man's actions, the same coldness that now seeped into his bones as he sat alone. As the night deepened, the kitten meowed softly, a sound so faint it was swallowed by the city's noise. His small body shook, and he pawed at the air, as if trying to find warmth or familiarity. But all he found was concrete, trash, and the biting wind. People walked by, their faces hidden behind scarves and coats. No one noticed the little kitten's plight. A woman carrying groceries nearly stepped on him but didn't glance down. A group of teenagers laughed and shoved each other, oblivious to the kitten shivering at the edge of the street. A man in a suit rushed past, clutching his briefcase, too focused on the meeting he was running late for. The kitten's meows grew weaker. His small paws were too cold to move, his body too tired to cry for help anymore. He curled up into a tight ball, his tail wrapped around him, trying to retain whatever little warmth he had left. He closed his eyes, his mind drifting back to the warmth of the apartment, the safety of his bed, and the gentle sound of his owner's voice, before everything had changed. He didn't understand why he had been left. Was he too much trouble? Did he do something wrong? The questions floated in his tiny head, but there were no answers. Only the loneliness of the cold city night and the pain of abandonment. Hours passed. The night grew darker, colder. The kitten's small frame barely moved anymore, his breaths coming in shallow, uneven gasps. The world around him blurred, the lights of the city turning into distant smears of color. And then, as if by some small mercy, a figure approached. A young woman, bundled up in a thick coat, stopped in her tracks. Her eyes scanned the street until they landed on the small bundle of fur barely visible against the pavement. Oh no, she whispered, her voice filled with concern. She knelt down, reaching out a gloved hand to touch the kitten. The kitten flinched at first, instinctively afraid, but then, too weak to resist, he felt the warmth of her touch. She gently picked him up, cradling him against her chest. Her coat felt soft, and for the first time in what felt like forever, the kitten began to feel a hint of warmth. You poor thing, she murmured. How could anyone leave you out here? The kitten's eyes fluttered open, meeting the woman's gaze. She had kind eyes, filled with worry and care. He felt her arms tighten around him protectively, and though he was weak, he let out the faintest purr, a sound so soft it was almost a whisper. The woman hurried home, her pace quickening as the cold wind picked up. She lived in a small apartment nearby, and when she reached her door, she wasted no time getting inside. The warmth of the room hit the kitten instantly, and he meowed weakly in relief. She set him down gently on a soft blanket, rushing to get him some food and water. The kitten, though still weak, lapped at the water eagerly. He was too exhausted to eat much, but the little he did gave him some strength. 
The woman sat beside him, watching him with a soft smile. You're safe now, she whispered. I'll take care of you. The kitten curled up on the blanket, his tiny body finally beginning to relax. The coldness of the night and the harshness of the street began to fade from his memory. For the first time since his abandonment, he felt safe. As the night wore on, the kitten drifted into a peaceful sleep. The warmth of the apartment, the soft touch of the woman's hands, and the quiet hum of the city outside filled the room. He didn't understand why his previous owner had left him, but in that moment, it didn't matter. He had found a new home. A new person to love him. And this time, he hoped, he wouldn't be left behind again.